Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. I am so excited for today's video. I am collabing with one of my favorite WW weight loss YouTube channels, Nikki Gets Fit. Nikki is amazing. She has lost over 70 pounds and kept it off, kept it off long term. I love her channel. I love her personality. Her husband, Adam, adorable. Her food that she shares is nice, clean food. She focuses a lot on whole real food, which speaks right to my heart. I have gotten so many great recipe ideas and inspiration from her that I knew that she was the perfect person to collab with for today's video. If you don't follow Nikki on Instagram or Nikki Gets Fit on YouTube, I'm going to link both her Instagram and her YouTube channel down below. Go follow her. Tell her I sent you. You will not be sorry. She is quite the gem. And we are are collabing on a snacks video because who doesn't love snacks? She loves snacks. I love snacks. So we have our top 10 favorite WW calorie friendly snack. To no surprise to anybody, I'm focusing on the sweet snacks. You guys know I love my sweets and Nikki is focusing on salty snacks. And so you'll get both Nikki and myself in today's video. So if you're excited, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on to both me and Nikki so you never miss a future video. Check out the description box down below where again, I will link Nikki's Instagram, her channel, I'll have nutrition coaching if you're interested in having your personalized macros and calories done. Highly recommend if you're new here to my channel, welcome. I've lost over 130 pounds and a lot of that has come from following both WW and my personalized calories and macros. So I do offer that service as I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to everything I share with you today will be down in the description box as well. And don't forget Forget. I do have a Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. It's wonderful. We'd love to have you. Like I said, I love everything sweet, but I also have a protein goal to hit every single day. So there are times that I like to incorporate protein heavy sweet treats as my dessert for the day or as a snack throughout the day. And one of my go-tos and one of my favorite ways to not only cure my sweet tooth, but get in a little bit of extra protein and a little bit of crunch is to have non-fat Greek yogurt. I love so many of the non-fat Greek yogurt options. The light and fit is delicious. I love Siggy's, Oikos triple zero, Oikos protein-based yogurts are also phenomenal. And you're gonna get anywhere from 10 to 20 grams of protein protein in a simple yogurt. But this just isn't enough for me. This satisfies the sweet tooth for me, but I also like to have a little bit of added crunch to my yogurt. I love to put nuts and seeds, cacao nibs, but really my go-to for yogurt is going to be granola. Any granola will do. If you would like a little extra pack of protein, just make sure you're choosing a protein granola. There are a lot of protein granola options on the market. This particular one is just the Members Mark Honey Almond Granola. And I just put about 20 to 30 grams on top of my non-fat Greek yogurt. It adds a point or two, but it's going to give me that crunch that I need. And of course, that little bit of extra sweetness. You could also top it off with a little bit of whipped topping for a little bit more of a dessert vibe. But this is one of my go-tos to not only satisfy my sweet tooth, but get in some extra protein. So on my weight loss journey, my probably most eaten sweet thing that I've had from the start of my journey has been these Fiber One chocolate chip brownie bites. So uh, they do have a bunch of other flavors. They've got like lemon, mint, uh, just a plain brownie. Uh, now I can't think of all of them. I always forget. There's birthday cake too. I like that one. But the chocolate chip has been my all-time favorite since the start. And I just never get sick of them. They are harder to find out of the flavors, but to me, they taste kind of like a soft, fluffy Chips Ahoy. Uh, but they're only two points for one of them on, w on WW. Honey calories for one, two and a half grams of fat, 17 carbs. It's got two grams of sugar and two grams of protein. And yeah, I don't know. I just love these. I like to have them before the gym. I like to have them like as a sweet snack at night or sometimes just like a midday snack with a banana. It's actually a really satisfying thing. So. These are one of my all-time favorite sweet snacks on my journey. I also love a good crunchy sweet snack. That's where these come in. These are so good, you guys. I know you can buy these online. You can even find these at stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is from the brand Drizzlicious, and these are mini 
rice cakes. So here's the size of them. Yeah, they're pretty mini, but they are drizzled with some yumminess. These particular ones are salted caramel. They have chocolate varieties, but you get 21 of these for 90 calories. 90 calories for 21 of them. It's a huge serving and they satisfy that crunchy sweet. I love the salted caramel ones. They're so good. Actually, all of them are absolutely phenomenal. I'll see where I can find these for the most affordable price and link them down below for you. But this is one of my go-tos if I just need crunchy sweet. Okay, the next sweet thing that I wanna talk about is these Soli gummies. So they come with five pouches in them. And they pretty much are just like little gummy cubes. Oh, like you can see on the back, it just kind of looks like that. But they just come individually packed like this. I have the mango and guava flavor, and then I also just have the mango. They have, I think, like two other flavors as well. These are some of my favorite desserts. Like if I'm craving chewy candy or something, which I crave a lot, I really do like chewy candy. This actually satisfies my craving uh, for like fruit snacks. It's similar to like a fruit leather, but in little like nugget form. One pack is two points on WW. It's 60 calories. It's got 13 carbs and six grams of sugar. And it's pretty much just made from the fruit. So that's why I really like these. Uh, these also are kind of a harder one to find. But when I find them, I usually buy a couple of boxes because I actually go through them pretty quickly. Uh, I like to have them throughout the day, but I also like to have them at night, like I said, when I'm craving candy because that is a lot. Now let's go back to protein-based sweet treats. I've been obsessed with this lately. When I say obsessed, I've been having this every single night for dessert, every single night, and that's protein pudding. Now there are a lot of different ways to make protein pudding, but this two ingredient protein pudding is my go-to. You're going to choose any protein shake of your choice. My favorites and the ones that I think work the best for this recipe are Fairlife and Premier. But again, you can use any protein shake. If you're plant-based, you can use Iconic or the OWYN shakes, and then you're going to need some sugar-free pudding. And there are tons of sugar-free pudding options on the market. Chocolate, butterscotch, pistachio, vanilla, cheesecake. You pick the pudding that pairs is best with your protein. These two together is one of my favorites. It makes this chocolate fudge pudding. All you do is pour your protein shake into a bowl, add one to two tablespoons of your favorite sugar-free pudding, mix it up really, really well. I generally will use my little handheld frother from Amazon. I find that that mixes it up the best. Pop a lid on it and throw it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. When you pull it out, you have the perfect pudding consistency that's packed with at least in this case, 30 grams of protein. And then I have mix-ins. I love putting the crushed up Chips Ahoy dessert topping into this particular protein pudding. You can do mini marshmallows, granola, nuts and seeds. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Lily's chocolate chips, 10 out of 10 in most of the protein puddings. So you feel like you're getting this decadent dessert and a lot of it because it makes a lot and you're getting 20, 30 grams of protein. Highly recommend, highly, highly, Highly recommend. Okay. The next sweet thing that I want to talk about, I guess, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So these are the Kodiak Bear Bites. This is also something, I've had these in my house for, since I started my weight loss journey pretty much. I've consistently bought these, uh, specifically the honey flavor. They do have three flavors. So they have cinnamon, honey, and chocolate. I uh, do like the chocolate, probably the second best, and then the cinnamon is probably my third favorite, but honey is my all time favorite. The serving's four points for about 15 pieces. It's 120 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 17 carbs, six or seven grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. So I just like to have the serving of these usually as just like a crunchy, they're kind of like Teddy Grahams, and that's why I really like them. I love Teddy Grahams, but they're almost like a crunchier version, and they have higher protein. So that's why I like these. They're 100% whole grain and just another good option. I always have these on hand. Another one of my favorite sweet treats, skinny dipped almonds, any variety, any variety. These ones have been my go-to, especially over the summer. These are the strawberry lemonade skinny dipped almonds. They have so many different flavors. These are so good. It's an almond coated in sweetness, chocolate goodness. So here's what they look like. So it's a full size almond dipped in everything good. I actually get an entire ounce, which is 16 almonds for 100 140 calories and the points here on the screen. That's a lot. That is the perfect crunchy sweet treat. It's just the right portion size. And like I said, any of the varieties of the skinny dipped almonds are incredible. You can pick these up at stores like Target and your local grocery store. 
I love these, especially for travel. I'll throw this bag into my purse, measure out my serving, and it's just a really good, crunchy, sweet treat that actually gives you some protein and some healthy fat. So I have Bear Bells. These are my all-time favorite protein bar. Out of every brand we've tried, every flavor, we have really tried so many different protein bars, and Bear Bells just are always my go-to. I always go back to them. So I have a few flavors that I really enjoy. My all-time favorite is definitely the Creamy Crisp. So this is what they look like. Uh, they're like a nougat dipped in chocolate, but then they have these little crunchy bites on them and they are so good. It's six points for one bar. It's got 200 calories, eight grams of fat, 19 carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So good amount of protein. Uh, the other flavors I really like, I really enjoy cookies and cream, caramel cashew, the white chocolate almonds, pretty good. It's not my all-time favorite, but every once in a while, I like to get a box of it just to mix it up. Uh, their new pumpkin spice is really good, and salty peanut, kind of tastes like a Snickers. A lot of them taste just like a candy bar, but they're a protein bar, and that's what I like so much about them. I like to have them after the gym, but a lot of times, I also like to have them as a dessert, just like a candy bar, like I said. So... They do sell them at Trader Joe's, and actually, you can usually buy the whole box like this, or you can just buy the individual bars. They're also available on Amazon, but which is where I got the... Well, actually, no, I got the Creamy Crisp just straight off their site as well, so they're like bearbells.com or whatever. I got the Creamy Crisp because that's a hard one to find, uh, but usually around the holiday time, it comes back to Trader Joe's as Holiday Crisp is what it's called, but it's the same bar. But yeah, I really, really enjoy Bear Bells. They're filling. I like to use my weeklies on higher point foods like nuts or protein bars. So specifically Bear Bells, I really like to use my weeklies for because they're really worth it and they're really good. If you follow my channel, this is going to be absolutely zero surprise to you. And one of my staple desserts, and this is something I eat several times a week, and that is going to be a caramel rice cake with the American Dream nut butter. You guys know my the obsession is real. I love the American Dream Nut Butter. It is one of, it is my favorite nut butter ever. What I love about it is that it's less calories, less points, more protein, and less fat than traditional peanut butter. Not to mention it is delicious. All of the nut butters, there's almond butter, peanut butter, and cashew butter. They are full of mix-ins like candies and cookies and little crunchy bits. It's not just your mama's peanut butter. This is a dessert all by itself. And this particular one, as you can see, is almost gone. It's one of my favorites. This is the Brianne's Blend Cookie batter peanut butter there's 15 grams of protein in two tablespoons 15 grams and only 145 calories all of the american dream nut butter whether you choose cashew butter almond butter peanut butter packed with protein so delicious and i just spread one to two tablespoons on a caramel rice cake i get that yummy simple carbohydrate with some protein and some fat this honestly i would say out of everything i shared with you today is my go-to dessert and like i said if you follow my channel you know you know I eat this on a regular, regular basis. So I'll link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you with a 10% discount. If you haven't tried it out, please try it out. It is seriously a game changer when it comes to nut butter. And then the last sweet thing that is my favorite sweet snack on my weight loss journey. It's something different, but I just love this stuff. This is Like Air and it is the pancake flavor. So this is a puff corn and it is so good. It I usually get it at Sam's Club, although I don't think it's available there anymore. It's like come in phases, so I'm hoping they just make it a permanent item there because I stock up on this stuff. But for the serving, which is three cups, I don't always have a full serving. Sometimes I'll just have a half serving if I just want a few like pieces. It's kind of like a salty sweet snack, but three cups is six points on WW. It's 150 calories, nine grams of fat, 17 carbs, four grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. So... They're pretty much just like giant pirate's booty, but with a sweet pancake seasoning on them. And I just, I can't get enough of them. It's something different and it just really satisfies my sweet tooth. A lot of times after dinner, I'll have an apple and then I want something else sweet. And usually this is what I have if I don't make like a yogurt or something like that. And these have been my favorite sweet snacks on my weight loss journey. I will go ahead and link everything down below for you. Of course, Nikki's Instagram, her YouTube channel, my Facebook group, nutrition coaching with personalized macros and calories. All of the information that you need in your life will be down in the description box. And thank you so much to Nikki for partnering with me for today's video. It has been so much fun. And like 
like I said, she is such a gem. Definitely go subscribe to her channel, follow her on Instagram. And if you came over from Nikki's channel, hello and welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram. Join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. And down in the comments, say hello and let me know Nikki sent you. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.